Silver Assassin here, and it's time to look at new coin releases and announcements from April. We start off as usual with some animal related coins. Something different from the Mint of Poland, a New York Stock Exchange inspired coin called Winner Takes All. The horns of the bull is a metaphor for the stock market going up while the paw of the bear symbolizes a downward trend in the market. The coin has a lot of gold plating, one for the stock traders who like the bling factor. German based All Collect releases the third coin in the Predator series, this time the Puma. As usual in the Predator series the coin has multiple finishes. The paw print is incused and struck to a reverse proof finish. The animal and the soil are done in matte finish and the background is mirror proof. The Royal Australian Mint has debuted a new free coin range called Inside Australia's Most Dangerous. These coins take a different approach to animals by showing the skeletons of the saltwater crocodile, the Tasmanian devil and the western taipan snake. You'll notice the coins have a map of Australia showing where the habitat of each animal is along with the Latin classification for each animal. Next, art and culture related coins. In the November issue, we saw a 3 ounce Starry Night coin from Italian based Power Coin. This time, the Mint of Poland takes a different look at this by designing a coin to look like the actual painting, including a gold gilded frame. This painting was originally done by the Dutch master Vincent van Gogh. The New Zealand Mint has released the ninth release in the Star Wars movie poster series, The Rise of Skywalker. The one ounce bar has the usual rectangular shape with a colour poster on it but they deliberately leave some areas silver, in this example, the ships. The New Zealand Mint again, and a silver bar from the Cape Crusader series, Batman Hush. This bar isn't based on the film series, but the Batman Hush comic book series instead. So the artwork on the bar reflects the comic book style. Hush is the supervillain that Batman has to take down. Next, history related coins. The Royal Mint launches an interesting 5 ounce coin based on the ill-fated Sir John Franklin led expedition to the Arctic in 1845. The coin's corrugated edge resembles jagged ice, which has HMS Terror firmly in its grasp. In a desperate attempt to survive, the surviving crew and officers are seen abandoning the ship, with one group in the distance hauling a lifeboat towards King William Island. Since 1848, more than 90 different search expeditions have attempted to find Franklin's expedition or evidence of his fate. In 2016, HMS Terror was discovered nearly 100 kilometers south of the point where she was thought to have been crushed by ice. What a coincidence. It's as if the Mint of Poland knew about the announcement of the new Assassin's Creed Valhalla game. The first release in the new Viking series is Eric Bloodaxe. The favourite son of King Harald Finehair, Eric Bloodaxe inherited the crown of Western Norway on his father's passing, but soon ran into conflict with his brother Hakon. With support from Athelstan of Wessex, Hakon drove Eric out of Norway and to the British Isles, where he established himself as the King of Northumbria. The obverse has a design incorporating runes. The Perth Mint releases a Chinese warrior god coin featuring Guan Yu. The 5 ounce antique effect coin features a signature weapon known as the Green Dragon Crescent Blade that has gold gilding along with green and purple colour highlights. The Chinese warrior god Guan Yu is based on a historical figure who served the warlord Lu Bu during the period known as the Three Kingdoms era around 200 CE. A brave and loyal general, he was worshipped as a god of war after his death and praised as a supporter of peace and promoter of morality and righteousness. Singaporean based Precious Metal Collectors returns with another of their famous 11.5 ounce monster coins. This time the subject matter is Vlad the Impaler, the real life inspiration for Bram Stoker's 1897 novel and its main character Count Dracula. 
Vlad the Impaler was a ruthless leader whose cruel methods of punishing his enemies gained notoriety in the 15th century. Vlad employed extremely cruel measures to inspire fear in those who opposed him and that's where he earned his nickname famously by impaling his enemies on stakes which does not kill immediately and is slow and painful. There were also stories told about Vlad drinking the blood of his enemies. A great example of where history and mythology collides. Talking of which, we finally have some mythology related coins. Dutch based Numis Collect releases the third issue in the Egyptian art series Anubis. A beautifully shaped 3D coin, it has obsidian black and gold gilded detail. Anubis is the god of death, mummification, the afterlife, cemeteries, tombs and the underworld. He is usually depicted as a canine or a man with a canine head. Two more coins from the Perth Mint exclusive to the Hong Kong based LPM Group Limited. The coin on the left is a one ounce proof coin with two dragons on it while the coin on the right is a 10 ounce bullion coin with a dragon and tiger combo. And finally, the Mint of Poland has released a coin based on the Monkey King, also known as Sun Wukong. The coin has high relief on both sides finished in antique effect. The coin has an unusual shape adding to the antique effect. We reached the end of this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.